In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can create halftone gradients using Inkscape. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document sized to 1280 by 720. Your document doesn't have to be that size, just make your document in whatever size you'd like your gradient to be. So I'll turn on snapping up here, and I'll grab my rectangle tool, and I'm going to snap to the corners of my document and click and drag to create a rectangle in the size of my document. Now I'm going to make this rectangle white, and I'm going to apply a black and white gradient. So let me open up the fill and stroke menu by coming up here to where it says object and selecting fill and stroke. Now under the fill tab, I'm going to select this button right here that says linear gradient. And when we get these handles here on the screen, I'm going to select this handle over here on the right, and I'm going to make this one black. And then I'm going to take this gradient handle and snap it to the bottom right corner. And I'll take this gradient handle and snap it to the top right corner. And now we have a white to black gradient like that. So now let's open up the layers menu. Let me grab my select tool. Let's come up here to where it says layer and select layers and objects. And what we're going to do now is we're going to turn off. Actually, no, we're going to lock the layer here and then click the plus icon over here to create a new layer. I'm going to click add. I'm going to leave the default as it is. Make sure it's above current and click add. And now I'm going to zoom in on the top left corner of my document over here, and I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. I'm going to snap to the top left corner, and I'm going to click and drag to create a circle, and I'm going to hold the control key to make sure we're creating a perfectly round circle, and I'll make it about that size right there. Don't worry too much about the size at this point. We can go back and change that later. Now, this step is important if you're using one of the newer versions of Inkscape because I noticed by default it sets the stroke to unknown. So come over here to the Fill and Stroke tab, and under the Stroke Paint tab, if you have this question mark box highlighted, just click this X right here to make sure there's no stroke, because if that is enabled, then it's going to mess up what we're about to do. So now once you've done that, grab your selection tool with the object selected, go to Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. And the settings we're going to use here, we're going to use Trace, Select the option right here that says trace the drawing under the clones. We want to trace by color. We're going to leave these set to zero. And the only two options we want enabled over here are size and color. And then come down here and choose width and height over rows and columns. Now, where it says width and height, input the width and height of your document. My document was 1280 by 720, so I have that there already. And then I just have this enabled here to save these settings next time I use this. So I'll click Create now. And once you do that, you can see it generates those, it generates that black circle over the linear gradient and turns it into this halftone gradient. So let's work with this some more. Let's first go back to our layers menu. Let me collapse this and I'll turn off the visibility of layer one. So now we just have the halftone gradient. And if you want to change the size of these dots, you could zoom in on this. Let me grab the original dot over here. And let me turn off snapping now because that'll just get in the way. And I'll make this a little smaller. And you can see what happens as I make that smaller, it makes the gradient smaller as well. And I can make this bigger and get the opposite effect. Now we have that effect right there. And anything I do to this object will also be applied to the rest of these dots. So you can change the color now if you'd like as well. And there you go. That is how you can create a simple halftone gradient using Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.